When the lead character of a TV show leaves, it's the entire show that's jeopardized. Well, it seems like one of the longest crime dramas, NCIS, is about to suffer the same fate. There's no doubt that Mark Harmon is the glue that holds this show together. In this video, we'll take a look at the upcoming departure of Special Agent Gibbs and the ripples it will leave in the show. Starting off with Mark Harmon's explanation on why he's left the show. Ever since the 71-year-old broke the news last year that he was about to retire playing Special Agent Gibbs from the hit crime drama, everyone wondered why. Not only was Harmon a prominent member of the cast, he also had a huge fan following and was involved in the show through other ways as well. But the star kept quiet about his reasons and kept shooting new episodes. In a new featurette on the show's DVD release, he sat down to discuss his reasons for leaving the show. Only in a roundabout way, though. In the video, Herman talked about what kept him returning to shoot a new season every year. He explained that he looked for fresh and challenging roles, and that's why he came every year to play Special Agent Gibbs. So we can only assume at this time, the role didn't hold anything special for him. Maybe he just thought it didn't challenge him as an actor anymore or allow him to learn anything new. Talking more about his character on NCIS, he revealed that he didn't think Special Agent Gibbs had retired, even though we won't see him again. He also revealed that Gibbs has now moved to Alaska, and that's as far as everything he could tell. The actor opened up more about the direction Gibbs would take later on. He stated that he was content with what direction his beloved character had taken, and that's the only route he could have taken. Let's see if fans think the same. Moving to the storyline for other characters on the show in Gibbs' absence. When a character leaves a show after 18 years, it's bound to leave a major void in the series. Hey, McGee, you'll be happy to know. I'm using my eye, whatever it's... What? When? Well, in NCIS, that void is about to be filled by Timothy McGee, played by Sean Murray. That's right, McGee is about to fill the gib-shaped hole and step up as the main character on one of TV's most watched shows. This new responsibility is definitely going to lead to some changes in the life of Timothy McGee. Actor Sean Murray revealed some of the massive changes that are going to take place with him in the driver's seat. He revealed that a major quirk of his character is coming back. McGee is known for being the John Grisham of NCIS, as he writes crime novels. And this means his persona as Tom E. Gemcity is also back. The actor revealed that ever since Gibbs' departure, Nick Torres and Knight are going to be the first ones to find McGee working on a personal project. McGee has also happened to add a new character in his books. He explained that Rick Soares is going to encounter a mysterious woman who starts making out with him. So far, that's all we know about these developments in this book, apart from that the new character's name is Delana Fleming. There are other developments in Timothy's life as well. In the show, we'll see him and his wife Delilah wanting to spend more time together and are going to live their lives as they want to now that they're older. Let's see where this arc will take them, following up with Mark Harmon's sacrifice for his family. In the special featurette of NCIS, we will get a close look at Mark Harmon's personal history. The 71-year-old actor has always been rather reserved when it came to giving interviews, but as he's hung up his hat as Special Agent Gibbs, he's opening up more about his life. In the video, he shared that as a young actor, he was offered a major movie role. That role would have definitely launched him as a movie star, but the film was supposed to be shot in New Guinea. The actor had to relocate to a new country and be away from his family. Harmon revealed that it was a really crucial decision, but he realized the crucial stage his kids were at. He explained his boys were really little and he didn't want to miss all their milestones, so the actor flat out rejected the offer. He revealed that with that movie role, he could have afforded to buy a new house, but he turned it down because he wasn't about to overlook his fatherly duties. And well, that decision ultimately led him to his most successful role, which was of Agent Gibbs. The show has provided the American actor with a family and a home for over 18 years. NCIS even became a family affair for him, as his wife and his son also appeared on the show during his two-year stint. And now with him leaving, there's no doubt that it will leave a huge hole in his family's lives as well. Let's take a look at the new opening credits of NCIS ever since Mark's exit. With season 19 finally wrapping up and ending its transition period, the new season's credit scenes are here, and this time, we don't get to see the veteran actor Mark Harmon. Harmon's absence in the series credit scene is heavily felt, as he's been in almost every single one of them. The new credits aired on Monday night and left fans shocked as Gibbs no longer showed up in them. The president of CB CBS Entertainment, Kelly Call, did give a hint back in May that his character would be removed in the opening credits moving on. Harmon was also listed in the CBS press release for this season and was supposed to show up on the season opener. Mark initially wanted to lead the show back in season 18, but when he found out that the show might get cancelled with his sudden absence, the actor agreed to save the show and appear in a couple of episodes of the 19th season. He only appeared in four episodes afterwards. In his last episode, he didn't give up his gun or his badge and decided to stay in Alaska. That's where his arc ended, or rather was 
just left hanging in the air. That uncertain ending leaves an opening for his character to return. Kelly Call even mentioned that the door was still open for the veteran actor if he decided to return to the show for a couple of episodes. And the way his story was left, there's also a possibility of his role being picked up by another actor. Who knows? Moving on to Mark Harmon being an absolute beast in Battle of the Network Stars. Back when Mark wasn't a lead on NCIS, he was still tied to the NBC network as he appeared in a romantic show called Flamingo Road. The American actor was invited to be a part of the 1981 season of Battle of the Network Stars. This show brought together actors from CBS, NBC, and ABC television networks and made them compete against one another in athletic games. Mark showed up first on Battle of the Network Stars 11 and he absolutely dominated his rival team in football. Back when he was a student at UCLA, he played as quarterback and his family history also boasts a huge relationship with sports. This explains his amazing performance against the CBS team. In the three-on-three -three football match, the actor was given the defense position, which he fully utilized to stop his opponent from making a score. Later, he also scored a touchdown leading his team to victory. Mark appeared on Battle of the Network Stars three more times until 1984. But looking back, he explained how he didn't view his opponents from rival networks to be opponents at all. He revealed that right after those matches, he would meet up with his opponents for dinner, and those were his fondest memories from the show. Following up with the writing advice the 71-year-old actor gave a young actress. Having a resume of 18 years with him means Mark's someone the younger and newer cast members go to for advice. And that's exactly what Diona Reasonover did when writing her first script for the show. Diona joined NCIS back in season 16 playing a young forensic scientist. And this season, she's added another credit to her name. She wrote her first ever script for the show. The script was written for the episode Turkey Trot, along with the executive producer Scott Williams. Reasonover explained that she was insistent on writing an episode for the show and finally got to do it. But what made her experience even better was when Mark Harmon made a special visit to the set to watch the episode she wrote get filmed. Even though he had retired from his NCIS days, he still showed up on set to see how Diona was doing on her first co-authored episode. She revealed how Mark hugged her and told her how proud he was of her. He urged her to keep writing. Diona also shared that even though Mark won't be seen on camera anymore, he was still pretty involved in the show behind the camera. He still gets every script that's written for the show, so he knows what direction the show is taking, and he gets to have a say in that. Diona claimed that she came up with four different ideas for the script, which the show Showrunner shot down. It was only on her fifth attempt that they finally agreed to let her write the script. Guess who just got a notification that somebody just answered his brand new glorious tablet? Okay, for the record, I thought this was a really bad idea. You think? Wrapping up with the changes in his family life following the exit. Ever since Harmon left NCIS, he's had a number of other changes as well. Recently, his son got married to Courtney Prather in the Maldives. This means that this Thanksgiving, they had an addition to their family and celebrated it with Courtney as well. Mark revealed that this Thanksgiving was made extra special because of his daughter-in-law's presence. It seems that Mark is fully enjoying his retired lifestyle and experiencing all the joys of being at home and with his family. We wish him a very happy retirement. That's a wrap for this video. What what do you think of Mark Harmon's reason for leaving the show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.